This is my Buell XB12R, a bike I've had the pleasure of riding for the last couple of years and the only bike that we've ever bought brand new off the showroom floor. The bike has about 4,000 miles on it, but this bike has had one problem over the last couple of months that I need to solve. In the last couple of years, I've actually put on a majority or at least around half of the mileage that this motorcycle has on it total. Unfortunately, there were a couple of things in previous years that we've talked about in previous videos, but there's one problem that I had at the end of last year that prevented me from riding it for the latter part of the season and something that almost happened again. This Buell XB12R vibrates a ton, and what that means is everything has to be fastened down properly, and if it's not, things will shake loose. And at the end of last year, that's what happened to the negative battery terminal. I realized this when I was putting the battery back in after kind of diagnosing everything and just thinking that, oh, the starter just put load on the connector, but no. And I went to put the battery in, I noticed the negative terminal was loose. At the time, I didn't use any Loctite, and I knew in the back of my head that I should be using Loctite. I just didn't have any, and I was going to come back to it at a different date. The first time when I had this issue, the bike was cranking longer than normal. Buell starters are a little weird sometimes, and it's just a common thing for these bikes to take a little extra second to turn over initially. That initial kind of hesitation turned into a little bit longer and longer and longer of a hesitation until one day I was at a gas station and the bike actually almost left me stranded. At that point I parked the bike and did a little bit more investigating and saw that there was smoke coming from the wire. I didn't put too many miles on this motorcycle this year, but the one thing I did do recently was do a little bit of a weekend trip on it, put a couple hundred miles on the bike, and the one thing I did notice was the longer hesitation was starting to come back. So immediately the first thing I did was take the seat off, take the battery out, get everything out of the way, and get access to that negative battery terminal in order to put some Loctite on it. The Buell has a really awkward place where the battery sits. It sits sideways underneath the seat, and it has to be a very small battery in order to fit properly in it. At this point, just removed everything, got the negative terminal out of there, and just locked tight the bolt down and reverse the process. Put the battery back in, put the strap back in. There's always something that's going to go wrong and something that just becomes a little weird. In my case, this time it was the negative battery terminal just going back in. These bolts, they have square washers that sit under them, so I struggled with it for a couple of minutes until I finally got it and put the seat back into place. At this point, the bike is all together, so the only thing to really do is to check to make sure that our work was done correctly. At this point, since the bike started up really nicely, I put some heat into the engine, just took it through its paces, enjoyed the bike for a nice little ride. I absolutely love and adore the Buell XB12R. It's definitely not the best bike in terms of anything, but it's just a fantastic machine to ride. It's just fun. It is a fun, raw, engaging bike, and I love it for what it is. At times, there are things that I wish I could change about the bike, and at other times, I think it's just a phenomenal motorcycle overall. Getting the opportunity to ride this bike is definitely really fun, and I can't wait to put it on more adventures in the future. I thought this was an important video to make because I'm sure that this is a common thing that happens in these bikes. They vibrate a lot, that's just one thing with the V-Twin that they're going to do. At the end of the day, it has the heart from a Harley inside of it, so it's definitely important to make sure that your bolts are fastened securely, and hopefully this Loctite should last me a very long time, and I don't have to attend to this every single year. I wanted to save someone else the headache, because it will fry a wire, it will fry a connector, and it will put load in places you don't want it putting load in if your negative cable comes loose. With all of that being said, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe because it helps the channel greatly. Leave a like, a comment on this video, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.